gang activity in Chicago is only getting worse over time. Y'all know what's up? Where we at? Get in the car. So some have to meet your fault. I don't do that. They know that. <laughs> so some have to meet your fault. Come on. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you. get in the car. Go ahead, bro. You was, you was running from the kid. Oh, dope, you was running from the kid. Gang, I'm by myself. It's 60 out. Oh, dope, it don't what matter. The, it's 60, 70 y'all. All y'all got cars. Y'all ain't shooting shit. Oh, move, man. Fuck I got skins in the head. Never got hit. I would've Dang. been. With over 59 gangs, with estimates over 100,000 active members in Chicago, which are fueling violence, drugs, and murders, with this first set located around Howard and Ashland in the Rogers Park area. These guys go by Black Block or Loke City, and this set is mostly filled with gangster disciples, which the Loke stands for loyalty over cash. Many members have lost their life over the war between Loke City and PBG, which one of the most notable members that they lost was Loke City Blake. This guy was shot eight times in the face. It was July 14th, 2013. It was just before 4 p.m. when 22-year-old Blake Lamb was found dead at the scene, right in the Willie B. White Park in the 1600 block of West John Quill Terrence. The person that allegedly killed Blake was a guy of the name of PBG Spaz and other PBG members. The war between these sets was very active when young Pappy was alive. Just watch this clip of young Pappy sliding on Lope City. We right here, man. We gonna bail out on this sh Boom, man. Cause niggas know that be us when we come through this planet. I done did so many hits off Blake that song. Blake got that pack. What Blake got that? There you go right there. <laughs> hey, there you go. Blake got that pack. <laughs> Hell no. He say, there you go right there. I just saved him. I saved him too. Oh, niggas know this be us when they see us. Niggas know it be us when they see us. Where that, that dope go? Where that dope go? Nigga, you ran that stove, nigga. You was a dead man. You hear me? Some beat your ass and took your sh. Ain't a mother. I'm down L for the mother. This next set is still in the Rogers Park area. They go by Pop Block slash 7400, and they are located on Fargo and Winchester. They also go by IBM and Nuni Cabbers, which this set is mostly filled with gangster disciples. This hood was originally filled with Black Pea Stones and Latin Kings, but Pop Block will lose a notable memo on June 16, 2017. It was around 4.08 a.m. when officers were called to reports of shots fired in a Woodland Village apartment complex in the 2400 block of Dugdale Road. When they got there, they found 18-year-old Robert J. Gordon AKA Nuni from the Pop Block IBM set. Investigators believe that Nuni got into an argument that escalated into a shooting. He was a well loved member, and after his death, they renamed the set Nuni Campus. These guys beef hard with Tay Town, SBMG, PBG, TFG, and Smokey Gang, which are all around the same area. This next set, I did a whole crazy hit list on this gang, so make sure you go check that out on my page. And this gang name is PBG slash ICG, which the PBG stands for Pooh Bear Gang, and the ICG stands for Insane Cutthroat Gangsters. This gang has mostly members of Gangster Disciples, and their enemies include Loke City, GVG, Four Corner Hustlers and Vice Lords. PBG was formerly known as Insane Cutthroat Gangsters, but later adopted PBG, Pooh Bear Gang, and one of their fallen members, Anton Sanders, which I go over this war in detail on my page, so make sure you go check that out. This next set is located in the Edgewater area. These guys go by Day Day World slash GVG, which is a renegade set of Gangster Disciples. Nigga, what it is, Gutterville, dope, Gutterville, gangsters in the building, nigga. You see us, nigga, out here with my young niggas. Cooling with my young niggas, nigga. I'm finna let these niggas give y'all some heat, nigga. Keep it gangster, too, nigga. Look, Duke, welcome home. Yeah. One notable member that Day Day World lost was a guy by the name of Brian Driver, aka Brio. He was killed on May 31st, 2015. And the crazy thing about this is, he was killed two days after young Pappy got killed. It was around 7.15 p.m. on that day when 27-year-old Brian Driver was walking on the sidewalk in the 100 block of North Serial Avenue, right in the Austin neighborhood when several men approached him and shot him multiple times. 
18-year-old Courtney Bailey was arrested for the murder of Byron. He was charged two years after the murder of Byron Driver. This next set is located around the Uptown area. TFG is a set of GDs in the area of Lawrence and Winthrop. TFG has pretty interesting history, originally a Harrison Gents hood back in the 70s and early 80s. But GD's migration to Uptown took over Gents numbers and many Gents flipped the GDs or switched hoods. After that, the Uptown gangsters were formed. Man, you in Uptown, man. We on hood gang shit, man. You already know, bro. Them gang, them. We out here, man. We out here, man. Damn. This area itself is very mixed with mostly black and white residents, as well as a mix of rich and poor living together. The rapper Young Pappy also dual claimed this hood alongside with PBG. Plus, TFG has the same allies as PBG as well as enemies. TFG also used to have alliances with High City, which has since ended in recent years. PBG is located in Rogers Park, whereas though TFG is located in Uptown. Another very active set on the north side is a set that go by the name of OTE slash Boulevard. OTE is a gangster disciple set right in the infamous location of Cabrini Green's projects around the area of Oak and Hudson. In order to properly break this gang down, you have to understand that this set has multiple cliques and subsets operating in different buildings slash blocks, which you probably already know the high rise buildings in Cabrini Green are long gone, which was left is row houses that are 30 to 50 percent inhabited and the rest are vacant a delivery guy commented i used to deliver food to these guys in the row houses one of those blocks was a one way if i recall so i didn't feel safe i was pretty scared until i started to carry protection he said they are honest that they don't f with regular civilians and they tip pretty good a notable member that ote lost was Trayvon Cameron, aka Troy Mack. It was January 20th, 2012. It was around 10 p.m. on a Friday night when someone walked into the Walgreens on Chicago Avenue near Franklin Street in the River North neighborhood and shot him in the head and the body. After Troy's death, they would rename OTE Troy City in his honor. Bank Gang slash Su Wu is another gangster disciple set located on the north side. Even though Su Wu is basically non-existent, they still have some active members. They are located around Cambridge and Person, but these guys lost their building and their hood got gentrified. They started building condos and high income housing around this area. One guy commented and said, and this was five years ago, I stay around this area and it's quiet now. They started to gentrify the whole area and put condos up so you don't really see that many members around this area. But on June 19th, 2021, Su Wu will lose one of their most valuable members. And these guys was known to not have that many shooters. Plus, they was known to not have that many bodies under their belt. But it was June 19th, 2021, around 6.45 p.m., when Kenneth Hyman, a.k.a. Kenzo, was in the 700 block of West Evergreen Avenue, when someone shot at him, striking him in the arm, groin, and leg. He was taken to the Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where he later died from his injuries around 2.42 a.m. And Su Wu is known not to even got back for Kenzo, even though they know who killed him. It is known that most of the shorties claim 051 Young Money, and most of the members in their 20s don't live in the city anymore. Remember, Chicago has many different gangs throughout the city, plus many different subsets throughout the city. Today, we only went over the North Side BD sets, but remember, there's plenty more sets all around the North Side and all around the city. So if I missed any sets, make sure you comment them down below and I'll get to them in the next video. Chicago gangs will only get bigger and more violent over time. The only way to really stop this violence is to gentrify the area, which would take billions of dollars all throughout the city, putting condos and high-rise apartments where the gang members used to reside. Chicago is slowly going through this process, but probably will never get rid of all the gangs. But that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.